Well, probably the, the research is there, but, but uh, again, uh, I think it depends on your type of soil. It, it can come back to bite you if you don't stick to your rotation, and, and, and that's, that's what we face. Uh, uh, it just so happens that normally we got to have all first year corn. Uh, this year, just because of, of, of another slight rotation change, it, it forced me to, to plant some second year corn, and uh, it, I'm not happy with that one at all. It, it, it just doesn't look good. It's not a big factor, it's only 25 acres. First year corn all looks fine dandy, but uh, whatever it is, uh, it's, it's not looking too good. Well, from a research perspective, I mean, the things that you need to do to do corn on corn or improve stress emergence, you've got to get the crop on the ground. It's even harder to do with corn on corn. You've got to have better disease tolerance in terms of late season diseases, and, and the folks here at the research station are definitely working on, on those types of traits give us more flexibility to do those kind of things. Now that said, I would, I'll make a, a general statement just for the Eastern Corn Belt coming, you know, Michigan, Indiana, coming all the way across to, to the ocean. Um, for us in, in the East, um, the crop rotation situation, corn after beans, is, is definitely shows a, a, a very nice advantage for us here. Um, the soil type, the rainfall we have here, the soil types that we have here that are much higher than in the, in the upper Midwest and lower Midwest and Central Corn Belt. Um, are, are a little less conducive with that type of a, a situation. So not to say that there are guys that have success with it, but we do have some additional challenges that uh, in the eastern corn belt that we don't have in, uh, in some of the other spots in the, in, uh, in the state. I'd say about two thirds of our corn is corn on corn acres. Uh, and of those two thirds, probably half of it anyway has been 15 years of continuous corn. And a lot, a lot of the irrigation is more of continuous corn. The biggest challenges we are running into now is what to do with the trash. And uh, we're, this year is probably one of the years where we run two different style of corn heads and I, I noticed that uh, our one chocolate head corn head was much better with ice field, the anthracnose disease had less than what our other corn head had. So we're looking more into switching to another corn head. But that is a big challenge right now is what to do with the trash. And I, I, I believe that the uh, technology is there. I think it's just a lot of management practices we have to deal with. And uh, a lot of the stocks that we have to deal with, and we have to try to deal with it in the fall. But when we have a wet fall, what do we do with them in the spring? And uh, with our harvest being so late as it is, the trash doesn't break down at all because it's so cool. So we're in the middle of trying to figure out what to do with all that trash. And I'll piggyback on what Jay said. He mentioned something about the corn head and, and we we're talking about technologies and research. And I think it's broad in corn hybrid research itself. Yes, there's been a lot of advances. Um, you look at your insect resistances against the corn rootworm, which is predominantly a corn on corn or multiple year corn on corn pests as you get further south. And uh, that definitely has helped in those situations. Additionally, there's been a lot of, a lot of research done on the same but outside of that, just overall agronomy research that's been done on farm that has helped to improve some of the practices that we've done. And yes, I believe that there is more research, not just you know in seed genetics, um, but also in overall agronomy research and even planter technologies that have allowed us to utilize some of that corn on or those corn acres to go pick back on corn and, and have a respectful yield. Jay will tell you that where he's at in western Michigan is not a great soybean growing environment. So, you know, they, they do corn on corn just because of sheer economics. The soybean yield potential is a little different than what it is in other areas. And for them, it's, it's been a very important thing that they've researched on farm to try to get a handle on and continue to improve that over time. There's definitely some response to, uh, to corn on corn on some of our, uh, our lighter soils. Um, the research and, and obviously the growers wouldn't be growing corn on corn if it didn't pay and if we didn't have these tools available to us now. The seed treatments that the corn uh, that we have on corn now is, is, uh, is top notch. The insect resistance that we have available to us to fight uh, corn rootworm um, is excellent and uh, you know now that we're able to, to maybe get some reduced ref refugia, um, the technologies are all there and uh, Obviously, the, the yields are there, or 